A lot of you are not going to like this and a majority will disagree, but after having this scooter for over a month, there's a lot to go over here, mostly good. And I think we have something special here. Segway design team outdone themselves on this project, I think. This is the Segway GT1 model, and I'm sure you already heard and seen this GT scooters lineup from Segway. I also posted a video about three months ago about the GT lineup unveil. This scooter is big, heavy, 106 pounds, and super expensive. But let me show you the unboxing and let's go over the specs. By the way, this is a prototype version and the final will be shipped sometimes later this year or maybe next year, I'm not sure. each 57.8 volts to max have the hardware to secure the front stand and the arm wrench key top speed advertised 60 kilometers an hour or 37 miles an hour acceleration 0 to 48 kilometers an hour or 30 miles an hour 7.5 seconds range Advertise 70 kilometers or 43 miles. The motor rated 3000 watts and we have a rear wheel drive air cooled hub. The torque is 50 newton meter peak. The battery. We have a 58.8 volt system that's 14S configuration or 50 volts with 1008 watt hour or 20 amp hour capacity. Segway team states on the website that the battery has a system equipped with a heat flux multi-layer cooling system to balance the heat generated in the race driving conditions. Before we test the top speed and the range, I need to go over the components and the quality. Every single screw, either stainless steel or if it's custom made, it is rust proof. All rubbers, gaskets, decals, paint tone or graphics so well positioned and nicely balanced. This grayish tone combined with silver looks attractive. The screen resembles with a racing car dash design, the futuristic W rounded handlebar and all wires hidden inside this beautifully crafted alloy frame, which is big for me, just screams amazing attention to detail and incredible craftsmanship execution. Every single part on the scooter, it looks like it was designed and custom made for GT platform. We have here high quality parts all around. I did not find an inch where I could say Segway cut corners. Everything feels super high level and it is Segway branded. Just look at the controls and buttons. It feels like it's been taken from Ferrari and implemented like on a supercar's dashboard. All buttons are easy to reach and use. Just beautiful. Charging. And this is the first PV that I left charging overnight, not worrying and without monitoring. This is something I would never do and I haven't done the pass with any portable electric vehicle so far. Charging should always be done under supervision, but I felt more comfortable here since I saw they have Tesla style fuses and the quality level here is for the roof. Suspension. Guys, there's a lot to cover in this area. We have front double wishbone suspension on this model and it looks like it was designed at the SpaceX. Amazing comfort, very good suspension, but the front makes a little spring noise and I'm not sure how to set it up so it's removed. The front feels stable at high speeds handles amazingly well. You have the shock speed and rebound adjustments, front and rear unique design inspired from the car racing world. Rear trailing arm suspension is custom and well fabricated. Every single part of the scooter is so balanced and when you look at this model, every side or just panel, it's catching your attention and gets you connected. The hydraulic shock is equipped with the front and rear 15 level dampening adjustments and it can be personalized according to various terrain. We have custom hydraulic brakes, again designed for this model, super strong stopping power and so easy to operate. The lights and turning signals are awesome, easy to engage and play so conveniently by the grips and will turn off automatically after three blinks, also shown flashing on the screen. I think this is the feature that should be present on all of the Hyper Electro scooters. So this is the screen and it's very legible, daytime or night, very custom look and uh, you have all the information here. On the left side you have the horn, pretty loud, and left and the right signal automatically turn off by themselves. It's very short, you get 
the blinker here, the blinker in the front, and the blinker in the back. And it's three flashes. Pretty cool. And let's turn the light on. So on this side you flip up and uh, it's a very wide spill and it's very long. 900 lumens, so you can see here really bright light and also in the back you have the brake light and the side lights, which are pretty cool. Activates with the side uh, panel lights. And once you plug the scooter, it's gonna go into this mode. So once you stop the scooter, let's say you ride the race and you press the brakes, it will go automatically into park mode by itself, which is pretty cool. This GT1 model has a very good handling and the comfort is exceptional. Segway went overboard and built GT series like money is not an issue. Even the tires are self-healing and custom made for this model. All this explains the excessively high price tag that a lot of the viewers complain in the unveil video. But this is by far the most beautifully and highest level of attention to detail and quality I have seen so far crammed in a scooter. And I'm glad I got a chance to test it and share this with you. Each single piece of the scooter is designed and engineered to give you the most comfortable and best performing option available. There's no aftermarket parts anywhere here on this frame. Every single inch of this frame and scooter has a thought and a futuristic design behind it. Starting from powering on button all the way until you finish the ride and start charging. Everything is custom and Segway did not cut corners anywhere. Just look at this crazy charging port, the gaskets, the display, the suspension system, the rear footrest, the side front fender covers, the folding mechanism and the collapsing stem. Everything seems high-end and luxury. Segway engineering and design team did not have budget limits on this project it looks like, went above and beyond to show us with GT lineup where comfort and luxury meets and how it can look like in their vision. I think they did a spectacular job, the scooter feels amazing and performs in a comfortable, unique way. For me, 106 pounds is not bad, but for other smaller riders, it will be heavy. I got a lot of compliments and admiration while I was testing this beast and also a lot of questions. A lot of you will complain about performance levels and not correlate or reason with that excessively high price tag. But there is GT2 with way higher performance levels and even much higher price tag. I will not debate that, you have to test ride it to really feel it and see it in person. Also you have to be comfortable spending 3k and a lot of the viewers will not be able to afford it. And that is fine. This model is a dressed and priced to cover luxury segment, which is very small in a scooter world today. And I like the Segway is working in that direction. Man, riding the scooter in eco mode is a blast. This is the best setting I've seen so far in any scooters. Blasting 25 miles an hour is all you need for safe commuting and you'll get a lot of range. Top speed. I reached 63 to 64 km an hour and that is 39 miles an hour on a fully charged battery and that is more than advertised. And I weighed 220 pounds, I also had a backpack with gears and cameras. range. In the racing mode I got 17 miles which seems to be low for this price tag, but once you set an eco mode, range will close to double. The torque in the race mode is powerful. It feels like you have a dual hub version and the sound is fantastic. Here and you bring it down or up for slow and for fast rebound. Also we have in the back the same adjustments through here. Guys, it's not just about speed like Nami, where the screws are all rusted in like 2-3 months. Look at all the space you have here. And here in the front, you have this little pocket so you can tuck in your feet and place it a little more forward. 
so really creates that uh, comfortable feeling and uh, that security feeling so look at this detailing also look at this charging port and the gasket the details in orange and red that are written so everything is so well done and yes Nami and other scooters are so much faster but you don't get this comfort this attention detail this beautiful design and also here when you turn the scooter on look at these buttons look at the screen and everything it's so perfectly done it's like a Ferrari like if you're ridden one you'll see the resembles here the throttle it's very engaging like a motorcycle look at these grips they have their Segway logo and they're very unique very original there's nothing else in the market like this also the scooter goes in standby mode goes into the park every time you stop or if you don't use it for 10 seconds it goes automatically in park mode which is pretty cool and even one hub motor you have so much power and so much speed so this is the fastest scooter I have tested with only one hub motor and this is plenty of speed that you need you need to go more than 35 37 miles an hour this is a, a very comfortable spot and even 35 is not safe but I feel like you don't need more than this and combined with suspension and design it's just perfect guys I have to be honest I'm super impressed overall with this model the attention to detail and the quality is through the roof the price though it's really high and that's a deal breaker for a lot of us but if you can afford it I think you should go for it if you like to check it out I place the link down below guys this was the review of the GT1 if you have any questions please comment below and I'll follow up Please don't forget to like and share this video, it really helps and supports this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.